sounds so country. But you know, I just want to say, hey. So hey, everybody. Welcome to Xavier Fox Talks, and of course, I am your host, Xavier Fox. Now today, we are at one of my favorite places with one of my favorite Chicago business owners. We are at Jimmy Jam Sweet Potato Bakery and Cafe. Now you may remember last year, about this time, Mr. Jimmy Jam, well, AJ, Adam Jackson, as most of us know him, challenged me to eat this potato. Now it's supposed to just be a stuffed potato, but if you've seen the pictures, you know he went and got some mutant ninja pumpkin and stuffed it with steak, onions, mushrooms, and cheese, and it was really good, but it was bigger than my head. Okay, well, so yeah, it really was, so you know he cheated. And he admitted to cheating, <laughs> and I got a dinner out of that, but still. So today we're here to talk to AJ himself, and he's going to uh, show us some of the delectable delights that he has here. And I am going to, well, I would be lying if I said I was going to sample them because, of course, I've eaten most of the stuff. We've had that wonderful, wonderful deli sandwich, the roast beef on the sweet potato bread. Now, how he makes sweet potato bread, I'm not sure, but it's excellent. And for those of you who like the chicken and waffles, if you have not had the sweet potato chicken and sweet potato waffles, then you really don't know what you're missing. And who's heard of sweet potato ice cream? Well, that stuff is the bomb. And I'm going to sample some more today. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce the man himself, Mr. Adam Jackson. I'm here today with, as I said, one of my favorite business owners in Chicago, Mr. Adam Jackson. Adam Jackson, what's up? Everything, Fox. everything. What's you just got a little box. So you got a little box. Oh, that's so sweet that you love box. Everybody loves. But you Fox. tried to kill me. You know what? So now I got you on my show, and I want you to admit that you cheated with that big giant. First, potato. first of all, for the record, <laughs> I didn't cheat. I just didn't dis I didn't disclose the important information at the at the time. I just said it was a loaded yam competition, and she didn't have the loaded. I didn't tell her it was a loaded yam. That's all. So that I that wasn't a yam. That was, was a pumpkin. A, it was it was quite ungodly. It was. It was ungodly. It was, it was Thank you for admitting it. Two hours later, did you see the footage? You saw the footage. It was on. I saw that commercial that you posted. Yeah, I posted. <laughs> I think I posted it like last week on your wall. She said, uh, <laughs> right. anyway, you see. Won't you edit? I think you need to bring that into the show. Like, right now, let's pause and look, and then it comes right up. <laughs> Jimmy Jam, we're about to go ahead and do this competition right now. This girl, Miss Fox, thinks she's going to eat our loaded yam, the whole thing, but that ain't going on. Jimmy Jam gonna smash it. Come on, let's go. Because she didn't make it. 
I two did. hours later, she I, didn't make it. I ate half of it, which he they, admitted that half of it would be the size of she a didn't normal make it. potato. Yeah, it, it was, it was, yeah, anyway. Yeah, he yeah. cheated. So anyway, and I got a wonderful dinner out of it at this really cool place. We won't necessarily plug the place. That was no, really cool. Plug. Yeah. I, I like the whole little open. Yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty like cool. outdoor, indoor. Yeah, in, out. It was yeah, out to that the was end. cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so see, he just, too. he just admitted that he cheated. I didn't cheat, I just her. felt bad because she okay. didn't make it. So let's get over. That's all. I just to felt, I just the... felt bad because she didn't make it. <laughs> Two hours later, she still didn't make it. Yeah, she didn't make it. Two hours later, she still sitting there, and LB wanted to have friend with her because she didn't make it. That's <laughs> For the record, she didn't win the Jimmy Jam, Yam, Lodi Yam competition. She, she didn't make it, but it's cool. I'm sorry. You didn't win. Mr. Jackson, I have no clue who you could have been in a prior life, but tell me who you are outside of being a business owner. Adam Jackson. Wow. Um, I, I am uh, I am a dedicated father. That's number one. I'm a dedicated father. I'm, I'm all for my kids. I spend a lot of time with my kids. And um, I have a... Um, I mean, I'm a personal, uh, yeah, that's the sweet potato ice cream. Sweet potato ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, Cletus. This is sweet potato ice cream, non-dairy. Matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just do this, then I'll get back to that. I hope don't nobody get jealous, because this, this is my friend. But you got to taste it. I, I am going to taste it. Come on, come on. And it comes with pecans or peanuts, if you like. Okay, anyway, um, so I, I, I love spending time with my kids. I love um, being available for my kids. And um, like I said, I, I've helped personally save, start, and support over 175 businesses. So, you know, I, um, I'm a professional uh, business consultant. And that's uh, what a website, MrAdamJackson.com, comes into play. Did you, um, sorry, this is so good. Yeah, oh, my is this the first business that you own that you own other businesses? Uh, no, no. I've, um, wow. I probably owned more businesses in the past than my family have had jobs. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, I have other investments that are out currently that I do. I'm, I'm, I'm actually on the executive team for the Only Kids Cooking Show, the Junior Cooking Kids Cooking oh, Show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, I have um, partnered with a transportation company as well. Um, you know, real, you do real estate, right? yeah, private, uh, like luxury cars and things like that. And then I have a um, um, a couple of other investments in, into projects that I'm into, and of course, uh, a, a TV show, uh, some TV shows. So, can you tell me a little bit about each of your businesses? Let's start with this one. What exactly is this business? What do you sell? What's on the table? Who's Okay, why you eat, right? You give me all these long questions so you can stuff your Okay, okay. All right. Um, this here is Jimmy Jam Sweet Potato Bakery. We're, we're the only sweet potato pie bakery in the world that has over 40 creations that are made from sweet potato. Uh, from sweet potato pie, our sweet potato pie with different toppings, our sweet potato cobbler, sweet potato non dairy soft serve ice cream. Uh, we have uh, Yeah, we have our sweet potato. Uh, cupcakes, uh, wedding cakes with these sweet potato. Uh, boy, it's real heavy, dense. Uh, you, you may get some of that. I, I may have a couple things, a couple more things coming out, you know, and kind of, you know, tease it a little bit. Uh, but we also have our deli sandwiches on sweet potato bread, our steak sandwiches on sweet potato bread. Uh, we have this, uh, of course, the one that you lost to, uh, the Jimmy Jam Loaded Yam. Uh, that's a stuffed sweet potato with diced chicken, uh, steak with onions, green pepper saute with brown sugar and cheese. It's, uh, it's actually, as a, actually, it, it's, it's just, it's, it's great. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. I really got a chance to eat a lot of it. It's really good. Yeah. And, and, this, and the recipe came from my grandfather. He left us this recipe on his uh, on his deathbed in 1983. Wow. So uh, it was... Uh, you know, it's just it's just actually taking a legacy, a family legacy, and turning it into uh, you know to profit for the most part. Okay. Here example. 
Well, can you mention a little bit about Sink or Swim? Because I know that's one of your, your babies as well. Yeah, Sink, Sink or Swim, um, if you have a live recording for Sink or Swim, it's a, a TV show based on saving a small businesses. So it's, it's a mix between uh, Home Makeover or, and Pimp My Rap for Small Businesses. Mm -hmm. So where I'll go into the business and, where, uh, and analyze the business, scan it, and see what's going on, and uh, take all the information back to what I call a deliberation tank. And uh, just kind of like, you know, sit around and deliberate, come up with uh, results. And we call the uh, owner of the establishment and give them a choice to either sink or swim, take our advice and, and swim or sink, stay where they are. And if so, we pay for the changes that we, uh, that we make, oh, we, wow. that we suggest, uh, sponsorship. And um, so that, that's the actual show. But we're, we're actually July 8th, we're not doing that version. We're doing kind of a promotional version, a shark, kind of like the Shark Tank. Uh, it's called Sink or Swim Business Swim Meet, uh, where 15 people will present their business uh, to my professional panel of experts. And uh, that, that's, um, and if there's a first, second, third prize, grand prize, first prize is 1,000, second prize is, 500, third prize is 250, and I have two angel investors just willing to invest anywhere from 10 to 50 thousand dollars. Lights, camera, action, makeup, red carpet, which you'll be yes. on the red, the red carpet. Fox will be up there, and now Fox, you know, Fox doing Fox. Yes, I'm going to have that little logo yeah. thing on the microphone. Yeah, she's going to have her logo yeah. thing on the microphone. It's probably going to look something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm special. It's okay, but yeah, uh, but it, this is a uh, this is a great opportunity for entrepreneurs. So, so single swim is like my baby. I mean, it's uh, we already had a hundred RSVPs a week and a half after I launched it on Facebook. So wow. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about it too. Yeah. So, um, so now, what about the kids? Uh, the Junior Cuisine Kids Cooking Show. Uh, we're currently on PBS. We have aired 13 episodes. And uh, we're actually getting ready to open up to, uh, across the country and different channels. And uh, I mean, it's, it's going great. We've got a cookbook, a uh, kids' cookbook that's coming out. We have a uh, collective event. We just really, it's been a great year for Junior Cuisine. And so I'm really excited as in, in, to the direction. We're getting ready to go into the next level of Junior Cuisine. We've met with some very powerful people that are just helping us collectively to make this uh, Junior Cuisine even more successful this year as it was last year. And so then you do the private transportation? Uh, yeah, we have uh, luxury cars from uh, the uh, new, new added uh, the Porsche or the 550s, uh, Lincolns, uh, Mercedes, uh, or uh, just private luxury cars and they're transporting uh, celebrities or transporting private people that don't really want to be you know, in a, in a regular town car or a limousine. Something that stands something out. That stands out that, that gives luxury. And uh, then I have a, you know, a car in Miami, so a couple cars in Miami off the window as well. We know the um, purpose of this particular segment, the business and investment segment, is trying to kind of to encourage people who are on the fence about starting a business and jumping on different things. And you are a really great model of the multiple streams of income. Right. And you know, people think that you have to be, um, you know, you have to have this uh, college degree or have a master's or a doctor's and be you know, the air from the throne and all this other kind of stuff. And what I like to show people on this segment is that you can be, you know, your average everyday person, but just have the drive and, you know, stick to it in this to, to make it happen. Right. Well, here's the thing with that. Uh, first of all, there's a, uh, there's something that I believe in, that uh, procrastination is assassination of the motivation that will stop you from reaching your destiny. So uh, if you procrastinate, you assassinate, which will kill all your motivation. At that point, you have no destination. So there is no four. That's just three out of that four. Uh, and also uh, another key factor, and I've, I've lived by these things, that implementation avoids procrastination. So it's, it's all the same. It references back to procrastination. And uh, unfortunately, um, and, 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 and when you get into something, you know, uh, it's the knowledge of your business. 
that it will take you to the next level. Like we never stopped here at the bakery. Like we started with two recipes and that was it. Now we have 40 creations because we never stopped trying to grow our business here. Right, right. That, that was the biggest thing. We never stopped trying to grow the business. Right. I, I believe that you can never stop chasing them. Yeah. Yeah. You can never stop. And like a lot of people say, you can't wait for everything to be perfect either because there's never a perfect situation. You have to step out there and just make some stuff. And I, and I have partners. Like, of course, my aunt, uh, Jimmy, which uh, she, my, my grandfather actually left her the recipe on his deathbed. I was too little. She taught it to me. Okay. And then, uh, of course, you know, that's her husband, Harold. So we're all partners here at the bakery. So. Foxy, Foxy, I see you. And you can tell everybody what you want to be called by. Xavier Fox here, still on the red carpet. Represent X.